Hey folks, uh, Mr. Math Blog here, and um, uh, this is a, a lesson on long division. We're going to divide two digit numbers by one digit number, and it's going to look like this. Let's start with a, uh, a nice easy one here. So let's go ahead and find uh, this guy, 68 divided by 2. Okay, when it's written like this, we have to change it uh, so it looks like this. So this is, says uh, uh, 68 divided by 2, okay? Other ways to do this, I'm, I'm going to show you this way. This way I'm most comfortable with. So first thing we've got to do is, is see... How many times does this outside number go into the first number right there? That's 6 right there, okay? So um, so 2 goes into 6, and remember, it's like 2 times what number equals uh, 6 or something close? Well, 3. 2 goes into 6 3 times, so that's the number that we write straight up on top of 6 right there, okay? Then we're going to multiply 2 times 3, and we're going to put that right underneath uh, this red 6. So here's 2 times 3 right here. 2 times 3. Uh, 2 times 3 equals 6, so put that right underneath there, and then we're going to subtract, okay? So when I subtract 6 minus 6, I get 0, okay? Whoops, there we go. I moved it over, you guys. So 6 minus 6 equals 0, and the next thing we're going to do is slide this 8 down right here into that position, okay? All right, so we slid that down, then we do it again, you guys. 2 goes into 8 now. 2 times 4 equals 8. So we're going to go ahead and divide it in there. So 2 goes into 8 4 times. So I'm going to go ahead and slide the 4 right up next to the 3, right above the 8 right there. Okay, then I'm going to go 4 times 2. Okay, and I'm going to put it right underneath that 8 right there. And then we're going to subtract again and we get 0. Okay, now this is how you write the answer. We start up here at the 34 and we go clockwise. Well, actually it's just 34 because the remainder is 0 so we don't have anything left over. So the answer is just plain old 34. When we have something left over, and I have that in the next two examples, you'll see how we write that. So the answer on this one is this number right up here at 34. Okay, let's try another one, you guys. 75 divided by 4. Okay, this time we're going to get a remainder. Okay, we've got to write it like this. Uh, this number goes on the outside, and then 75 goes on the inside. Okay, 4 goes into 70, or sorry, 7, we, into the first number just one time, you guys. So um, I'm going to put the 1 right above the 7. And then I'm going to write 4 times 1 equals 4. So that's what goes right here, okay? So 4 times 1 equals 4. So put it right underneath that 7, and then we're going to subtract, okay? And then 7 minus 4 equals 3. And then we slide down the next number, okay? So there's my 7 minus 4 gets me this blue 3. And then slide down this next number 5, okay? So now it becomes 35. Then we're going to do it again, you guys. Okay, 4 goes into 4 goes into 35 eight times. Okay, and then so I'm going to multiply 8 times 4, and that's what goes right underneath here. 8 times 4 is 32, and then we subtract. Okay, and I don't have any more numbers to slide down, so I'm done. So I have a remainder right here. So we're going to write this as a mixed number. So we start at the top up here, which is 18, and then we go clockwise. 18 and three-fourths. Okay, that's how we write this. 18 and three-fourths. Okay, so we always start at the top and then go clockwise and three-fourths. Okay, so there's my 18 and three-fourths. All right, and if this could reduce, I'd go ahead and reduce that, but three-fourths doesn't reduce, so that's the answer right there. All right, let's try one more and then we'll stop, okay? So 99 divided by 6, okay? So uh, we're going to go put 6 on the outside, 99 on the inside. Okay, 6 goes into the first number once, okay? So I write 6 underneath that, so there's my 6, and then I subtract, okay? 1 times 6 equals this 6, and I subtract, and then I get a 3. Do you remember the next step? I slide this guy down, so now it becomes 39, okay? And then I ask again, how many times does 6 go into 39? Well, I know 6 times 6 is 36, so that's a, so it'll go in there 6 times. So I'm going to go ahead and now do 6 times 6, this red 6 times this red 6, and put it right underneath there. That's going to get me 36. Okay, then I subtract. Okay, now I don't have any more numbers to slide down, and since 6 doesn't go into that number anymore, then I'm going to start at the top and go clockwise, okay? So 
start at the top, there's my 16, and then go clockwise. So 16 and 3 sixths, okay? And then I can reduce this, you guys. Uh, 3 goes into this number and 3 goes into that number. So if I divide this one by 3 and divide this one by 3, then this becomes 1 and this becomes 2. So if you can reduce it, go ahead and reduce it. So that's how I reduce it. I put little slashes through it. Um, uh, 3 goes into uh, 3 once, 3 goes into 6 twice, so this becomes and reduces to 1 half, so the answer is uh, 16 and 1 half. Okay, take care you guys.